Engine Company 11, from the outside, just another firehouse waiting for the next alarm. But an anonymous letter has aroused some suspicion at this corner. The letter sent to State Senators Dave Schwartz and Oscar Mosey mentions illegal wiretapping out of Company 11. Hundreds of phones in the Oak Lawn area mentioned as being wiretapped by local or federal law officers. Schwartz and Mosey, co-chairman of the Senate subcommittee investigating intelligence gathering practices, aren't saying much about the letter, only they are interested in pursuing its information. A check of the outside of the building shows numerous antennas on the roof and electrical and telephone wires strung along the back windows. One wire is connected to a house across the street. Southwestern Bell security supervisor Carlton Wright inspected the building inside and out. Yeah, I can't see any uh, telephone wires into the building that wouldn't uh, be normal. Have you ever investigated this building for alleged wiretapping? No, I have not. Would you say that it was possible for illegal wiretapping to be uh, going on in this building or any other place in this city without the knowledge of Southwestern Bell? Oh, I would say yes. I'd say definitely possible. Uh, it doesn't take Southwestern Bell's cooperation to wiretap. I mean, anybody who's uh, a fair electronics man and, and uh, is willing to risk prosecution for it can, uh, can wiretap. But an electronics expert specializing in wiretapping tells Channel 8 News he knows of several illegal taps on phones of suspected gamblers in this area made from other locations with the cooperation of Bell officials. Meanwhile, the Dallas Fire Department, Police Intelligence, and the FBI all deny they have used Engine Company 11 or any other firehouse for tapping phones. And the firemen inside say if it happened, they must have been asleep or out fighting a fire. Bob Serkin, Channel 8 News.